Hey everybody, so today I'm going to discuss why I got denied for the Chase Inc. Bisses Preferred card. Um, this is a card I had my eyes on because the um, sign up bonus is really good. However, in the past, the spend requirement was too high. Finally, they lowered it to a more reasonable amount of $8,000 in three months. And with some expenses I had, I could hit it. So I decided to go ahead and apply for it. When I went through the application, I answered all the questions and put on the information. I clicked the submit button and they denied me. Um, I called the reconciliation line, of course. That's what everybody says to do, to go ahead and call them, which I did. You know, I told the story and, you know, I said it would be a good long-term card for me. I said nothing about the sign-up bonus. Never do that. If you get denied, just tell them why the card will be a good long-term solution for you. So I went into that and the rep's like, we're not going to approve it. Like, you're just out of luck. So I said, damn. But it's okay. It was my very first credit card denial ever. And, you know, for someone like me who has 16 cards, four business, 12 personal, I'm like, you know what? This is not the end of the world. It sucks. I'm not going to get the 100,000 points, but I'm not going to dwell on it. So it's, to me, not that big of a deal. Some would be all upset about because they're not going to get their Chase Ultimate rewards and be able to transfer to high and all that stuff. But, you know, while it's it was a bummer, I'll say at the least, but it's not the end of the world because I still have a sweet cash back set up from Chase and I can get good value out of that alone. The thing that just sucks with my Chase up is I can't take it abroad because all the cards I have to have foreign transaction fees. Well, the Business uh, Inc. Preferred card or Inc. Business Preferred card, let's get the name mixed up, does not have foreign transaction fees. That would have been the upside to having that so that way I could have a Chase card abroad, but it's okay. Uh, I'll live with my uh, five card set for now. Maybe one day I'll upgrade the Ink Unlimited card to the uh, Business Preferred card. Now, you're probably wondering um, what my denial was, what the reason was. Um, the reason was too many active accounts or too much available credit. That was my reason. Um, this is not a data point. I've heard too much about Chase in regards to their application process. The only thing I hear people talk about in regards to Chase is the 524 rule, which means that if you've opened five or more personal credit cards in the last 24 months, you cannot be approved for a Chase card. You'll get an automatic denial even if your credit is perfect, you have a really high income and all that stuff. 524 is a hardcore rule on Chase. Now I've heard they might have loosened up on this a little bit, but there's no one's confirmed that that actually has happened. So if I were you, I'd just assume they have the 524 rule and just stick with it. But with too many active accounts, I don't know what this means. Um, does this mean just credit card accounts? Does this mean any loans that you might have, such as student loans, personal loans, auto loans? Um, does it mean a mortgage? Like, I'm really curious about that one. So if anyone has any information on um, too many active accounts, what Chase's reason behind it is, drop a comment below and let me know. And that way, you know, I can get another data point on Chase and everyone else can get a data point on Chase. So that would be a uh, good thing to know about. Uh, the um, the reason, too, it was only one reason, but that had the word or in the uh, reason. It said, or too much available credit. So I don't know how Chase determines too much available credit. So maybe it's what you put as your income versus, you know, what kind of credit you're trying to get. Maybe that's what they do. I'm not 100% sure on this one, but this is one I'd love to know about. So maybe you put down income and then they run your credit report and see how much available credit you have versus the income you're making and that's how they make the decision. And this could be a sensitive area for Chase too. So if um, you, know, you apply for a Chase card, just keep these two things in mind when you're applying so that way you know what to look for before you apply for a Chase card so that way your chances of getting approved are higher. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video discussing, you know, another reason for a chase denial, uh, one that's not commonly talked about, but, um, I wanted to tell you all about it just so you were aware of, you know, another reason chase could deny you for a credit card in case there's one out there that has a sweet offer and you really want it. And, you know, you know, you can spend the money to hit that sign up bonus. Uh, it's just another thing to look out for besides their 524 rule. 
So, um, I guess, you know, make sure your income increases over time so that way you can, you know, get some more chase cards because they're sensitive about it. And uh, I believe the Fed interest rate hikes have tightened credit from banks because I have read that banks are getting stricter with credit. So they're not giving it out as much as they did just a few years ago. So that could be another factor into it too. So if credit loosens up again, then maybe Chase will give it out easier. So I'm not really sure. But anyway, yep, I just wanted to discuss these, uh, these data points with you in this video just so you have another idea of why Chase could possibly deny you for a credit card. And when you apply, there's another thing to think about. Just that way you can improve your chances of getting approved. Improve your chances of getting approved. All right, so I thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have any data points of what I talked about, drop them below. I'd love to hear about it, and the rest of the community probably would love to hear about it too. The more information, the better. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care.